Hello everybody, my name is Vasco, and today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to make an awesome YouTube banner. Okay, so first things first, you want to go to this uh, website called Pixlr Editor. Um, here's the URL right there, but there also will be a link in the description below, and you guys can just go ahead and click on that, and it'll, it should bring you right to this website. So what you want to do is go to Create New Image, and then the you're gonna have to set the preset to 2560 by 1440 and then click the transparent and you can name whatever you want I'll just name it video so then you're going to want to play, uh, press OK and then you're gonna have this on your screen um, so first things first you're going to want to have a background to start off with so you can choose to either um, get a picture off of the internet or you can like click on the paint button and choose what you want here and select it just like that but I am going to oh uh, sorry I forgot to mention one other uh, you can also use this here the gradient choose whatever one you would wish to use and then select the line and it will just make a nice little shade of red here but I'm going to grab a picture off of the internet um, here one second I'll be right back okay so I went off and went a photo no matter what um, like if you're if you're getting a photo off of the internet you only have to do this part but if you're choosing the gradient or the paint tool you don't have to do this so what you want to do is go into file open image and wherever you sent it wherever you sent it to and I just have it on my desktop so I'll open that up so that will show up here so what you want to do is press control a control C and then move that over click on here and control V so that will paste it and then you can just close the original photo there so now you have this here and now you can add text so you can go over to the text button here and try to center it and you're going to type whatever you want this will be I'll just randomly name it um, my cat is a noodle yeah okay <laughs> so you can uh, ch change the font I'll just change it to this uh, you can also change the size I like to have it the largest but you can choose whatever the heck you want and remember when you're making YouTube banner it doesn't get the whole thing it only gets a part of it so try try to like center it so I'll have it at like a hundred then there okay and then you can change the style myself I like bold and italic and then you can also change the color I really like white but you guys can choose whatever you want and then press OK now if you want to move this around you want to go up to the tools here and do the navigation thing here and like center it or well yeah if we're making a, a banner then we're gonna have to try to center it so like right there is probably good and uh, what you can do here is you can also do some more editing with the text and press this right here there's the layers and it's one of the tools here click on it and now you have selections here you can do drop shadow inner shadow bevel outer glow or inner glow you can put all of them on if you want, but myself, I like to have drop shadow and inner shadow. And then select OK, or you can also do um, a color, but I don't really see it changing, so I don't think that really matters. Then you want to click OK if you would like to do that stuff. And then also another thing, if you want to add more text around, you can go and right click on this here, your text uh, layer duplicate and then drag it under with the tool go back to the text and click on it and then you can edit it and say subscribe for awesome
con or wait no content because that's what I have on mine and then also you can change the size and whatever I'm going to change that to 70 and again you can change the font or the style or the color and try to center that again okay and also you can add other little um like pictures around it if you would like so what you want to do if you want to add pictures is go on to a new tab and search the photo that you want but it has to be a png photo so i'll show you guys in one second controller png so now you want to go into images i'll choose this one because that's what i have on mine I'm just putting it on my desktop or you guys can download it whatever and put it somewhere and then what you want to do is go to file open then find it wherever you put it right here is it is for me and same uh, thing as you did before control a control C and then back here control uh, V so now you have this here and if you'd like to rotate it or move it um, you're going to want to go where is it oh you want to click edit and free transform so then you can move it around turn it change the size but I'm gonna have it small like this let's say right there oh whoops didn't mean to do that All right, we'll just keep it there then. <laughs> um, but then what you want to do is click save. And you can choose the quality, whatever you want. I, I would say have it at 100 for best quality. Uh, the name is here. You can change that. And uh, you can change the format. I would just keep it at the normal one and then click OK. And you can choose where to save it. But I don't, I don't need this picture. I don't need my cat as a noodle. Subscribe for more content. Um, but anyways, I hope you guys did enjoy this video, and if you did, please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye!